Hello and welcome to Two Indoor Gaming. We are back with Life in the Village and there has been an update. We are at 1.15. And what has changed? Well, everything and nothing. How's that for a sum up? <laughs> uh, the tile screen hasn't changed. No, the biggest issue uh, of change is in the world generation. OTG, uh, Open Terrain Generator, has had a big update and that includes how you even create your world. So you'll notice immediately as you go into a uh, single player that it's got a whole different look to it. And your worlds have a different look to them. See, it's got OTG and then it says buy and bundle vanilla vista so that's just because i didn't change the name so that's not because it'll say that every time but it'll say otg in front of your world and you've got an option here you can create a new world go to the vanilla screen or you can create an otg world so you've got two different options there now in the update notes it talked about how you could create a world even in quark with a quark realistic what does it mean by that well you go into here and go to world type and you'll notice at the end there is realistic. Ooh. But it doesn't work. I've tried every world I've tried to create in it. I'll launch in. It's sort of as it's as it renders in the, the, the area around me, uh, it breaks. <laughs> it hits something that it doesn't like and it breaks. Every time. Whether I try realistic or default. Uh, there's just I guess there's just too much in this mod pack to sustain those world generation types so while it's here as an option uh, I've not yet got it to work good luck to you if you have so realistically it is still you still have to do OTG worlds that's um, I'm sorry that that's my experience prove me wrong so you're going to create OTG world and you've got you have still got your sort of overarching what do they call this uh, preset there it is preset you still watch your preset but whereas before you could overwrite your save game because every preset became the name of your world and so you might think you're creating a new world under the same preset you're actually just writing over the old one that can't happen anymore yay so that's a bonus uh, you can add you can still add in your own presets call them whatever you want so I could call my uh, preset TG there we go and then I could set that up to whatever I like to have uh, in in whatever so but you'll get buy and bundle same as before vanilla vistas is the new type of generator and that says in its uh, mod notes that it only uses the vanilla biomes it just changes how they're generated to make them a little more natural more steps uh, leading up rather than dramatic jumps and 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 sort of sprawling and bigger and it's, it's quite the thing to to witness that's for sure uh, amplified is the same in that it's vanilla biomes but there's more likely to be huge mountains and what uh, some more extremes to it so those are your different options but you also have and this is pretty cool click on continue here uh, your world settings as, as standard put in your seed and game type etc you know all of that that's that's all been before portal materials I'm not sure exactly what that is um, I've seen that saying quartz block or dirt I, I don't know but you can here you can get into your game rules and you can really start messing with stuff Weather cycle, turn your weather cycle off and all sorts of regeneration, nah. So you get all those game rule options, you can just play around with them there for your particular uh, your particular uh, setup here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we, we go back and your advanced setting as well. So you can even stop yourself from breaking blocks if that's what you want. Uh, you, you, all sorts of things happening here spawn point set etc etc so you, you can play around have a look in there do whatever the, ever you want with that uh, if you're looking at doing a mountain top thing you might want to change your cloud height so that they're further away get off me get off me mate uh, so then you'll do that you'll continue through and now you actually get to name your world so your preset can have multiple worlds in it and you can't overwrite what you've already done See, already exists. I can't wipe my season three world. Woohoo! Whether I want to restart it with the changes or not, I've still got to decide that. I don't know. I'm not sure this is really a game breaker change um, because the other major change. See, I could just add an S and create a new world, and it would sit there 
and generate something new for me. But I won't do that. You can play around with that. Uh, I have done a vanilla Vista world. Uh, well, I've done a whole bunch of worlds, actually. And uh, the other big change, the other major change is they've introduced Techtopia. Yep, succumb to pressure. Everybody else is doing Techtopia. It's time for life in the village to have Techtopia. And it makes sense, doesn't it? Because it's all about villages. So now you're basically going to be able to have uh, create three different kinds of villages. You can create your own millionaire village if you get the if you earn enough reputation uh, you can create your own millionaire village you can create your own mine colonies village and you can create your own techtopia village and go crazy you could have three villages side by side and manage them all at once and um, try and be mayor of three towns at once good luck to you good luck to you sir or madam so yes this is the big changes uh techtopia now i'm just going to show you uh something i found with techtopia uh right after this flip so here we have a Techtopia village. So instead of a vanilla village spawning in, it becomes a Techtopia village. So it's exactly the same setup. So the vanilla village spawns in and it just populates it, converts the buildings to Techtopia buildings uh, where it can and goes from there. So we see the citizens bustling around nicely, doing all their little jobs. And not particularly smart they won't avoid the cactuses or other spiky plants so when you do have a village uh, be careful of that you might not clear out any of those uh, plant obstacles or you can find them uh, hanging up and dying on them so it's a nice little setup they run around now I found it very difficult to find this is not my first world that I've gone searching uh, it's probably the third world I've gone searching in creative mode just so I could fly around because of after about six or seven attempts in survival and wasting a lot of time trying to find a Techtopia village just to see how that it was working and how it was set up and I couldn't so it took me a long time to even find this one village and even in this particular world you can see that it took me a while of just flying around <laughs> Uh, the millionaire villages spawn in just fine. Uh, you'll find that the rogue-like dungeons and whatnot they spawn in as well. I've seen plenty of those around. Uh, that's no trouble either. Here's one you can see there set up. Uh, it's just yeah. This is in Biome Bundle. I still haven't found one in Vanilla Vistas. So yeah, I guess uh, if you want to commandeer a village or just take all their stuff to start your own you're either going to be very lucky or very persistent uh, they are not that frequent and I guess that's just comes in the nature of uh, the, the way that the world's set up that'd be my guess just to round off this video for uh, the update I thought I would just show you a vanilla vista world what that looks like and I've just spawned in here and one thing is so we've definitely got a lot more plants than we used to have uh, and oh actually there is one other change I forgot to mention and that is the quests have been cleaned up so we've still got the FTB quests and that's all yep fine no worries and the shops working good not a problem but we no longer have the other quest book the um, the better questing mod I think it was is gone Gone. So you no longer have the confusion of both uh, getting in your way. So yes, here's a vanilla Vista world. No problems with spawning in millionaire villages and uh, dungeons, what have you. Um, I doubt I'm going to find a vanilla village. Uh, never has happened before. Anyway, like I said, you will either be lucky or very persistent, I think, to find one at your doorstep. So you can see it's very much a graduated, graduated step to uh, the the terrain generation rather than big dramatic hills and stuff in the way they're a lot less frequent not uh gone exactly here we are here's a little one but but just less frequent more of a, a feature than 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 a consistent uh item and yeah there's a middle of that village popped in over there nicely so yeah big sprawling areas uh biomes and only using the vanilla type apparently and oh ooh, that's an interesting look this is a weird sort of generator look at that funky 
Okay, so yeah, that that's what you'll find with this update. It's mostly about the world generation and getting Techtopia happening. But uh, you'll have to work a bit for that. It won't come uh, just at your doorstep. Unlikely to, anyway. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, join me back in Season 3 for uh, more stuff coming. Okay, bye. <laughs>